At the start of this season, I became the brand new manager of Chelsea after Pochettino was sacked. Todd Bowley hired me with the objectives to win him the Premier League title and also the Champions League and we're very close to doing that. And key parts of that have been players like Rafael Liao, Christopher Nkunku and Lautaro Martinez who combined have got us over 100 goal contributions this year so far. That's just ridiculous. And because of that, in the last episode, we smashed Millwall 3-0 in the Carabao Cup final to win our first piece of silverware this season. And on top of that, we are first in the Premier League by one point with only seven games to go. And we are in the Champions League quarterfinals against my favourite team, Bayer Leverkusen. We are trailing one goal to nil on aggregate, so the game is still wide open. This is the finale of Season 3, so drop a like on this video if you're enjoying the series and smash that subscribe button. Now, have you guys seen this? Pochettino has done an interview with DeZone and he's basically torn me apart. Apparently, I know everything I do about coaching because of him. Apparently, I'm a backstabber. Apparently, I'm too cocky to win the Champions League too. I mean, that's funny he mentions the Champions League because I'm looking at the quarterfinals right now and I'm not seeing Tottenham Hotspur there, do you guys? That's right, guys. You don't see him there because they are in the quarters of the Europa League. So he's talking about my chances in the UCL and he's not even in that competition himself. On top of that, look at the Premier League for God's sake. We are 12 points clear of Pochettino's bottle jobs. I mean, he can talk all he wants, but that speaks for itself. Well, who cares what Pochettino thinks when majority of you guys actually think I'm going to win the Champions League, man. A lot of you thought I was going to crash out in the round of 16, but I proved you lot wrong, didn't I? But looking back at the Premier League, we are only three points clear of Manchester City. Now, that is a decent cushion, but that means one slip up and they are really, really stepping on our toes. Luckily, though, this team in front of us is been in the form of their goddamn lives as a late man. Obviously, we did lose to Bayer Leverkusen, but in the Premier League, we've been killing it. And hopefully, we can keep killing it against Leicester. Oh, look at that. 4-1 at home. And Kunku with a brace. Lautaro and Kunku with a hat-trick, actually. Fair goddamn play. But our next game is against Leverkusen in the second leg of the quarters, which we are trailing one goal on aggregate. I don't think I need to explain to these boys just how big this game is, man. I mean, we've got a chance here to get three trophies this year. We've already won the Carabao Cup, we could win the title and the Champions League if we keep playing well. But just before the game, Top Bowley pulled me aside for a chat. Goodwin, I don't need to tell you how big this game is. We're trailing to a team who I think we are much better than. Don't let me down and get us to that final. Here comes Grimaldo early in the first half. We need to put a foot in. Tomori's missed his challenge. Moreno's on the ball now. We're going to double team him with all oh my days. By Leverkusen are playing some really Really nice football. We can't get the ball off him. Great save, Jan or Black. They're coming forward again. Oh, look at that for a tackle from De Ligt. We finally got the ball, man. And we've got it to Rafael Leal, the speedster on the left-hand side, who's just cruised past their first defender. He's got loads of room. Let's have a ding from Dinner. distance. Oh, my God, what a save. And Kunku, good delivery here. You could put us level on aggregate. That is a great delivery and not quite the finish we were after. We've got Madweke pushing forward on the ball. Now we're going to come back. Oh, that's beautiful. Lautaro Martinez take a shot that is great recovery from their bloody defense we have Lautaro Martinez on the ball now Declan Rice is in chase okay oh we could squeeze through the pair of me Lautaro Martinez has definitely got it in him to do that can he put us one a piece oh no 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 Lautaro man you did all the odd work you just needed to do the easy part put it away got my fingers on the ball now I spot that run in from Nkunku Nkunku's gonna come behind Martinez finishing this time yes he hit the post again but this time it went in the direction we wanted it to half an hour into this game we are one a piece. Jesus Christ, talk about taking advantage of your second chances. What a strike for Martinez. He hit that with all the venom he had in his right foot. By Leverkusen are coming forward though. Patrick Schick is there. What a block from Delay. Oh my God. That is why we paid so much money for you, lad. What a freaking bit of defending that was. Here we come on the counter attack. Liao is on the ball. He's been absolutely dragged down though. Can we find Malo Gusto? I think we're going to be able to do it. Cut inside. Liao is there. Oh, that's a beautiful bit of play. Can we get a shot? Off. I think we got him. What a goal from Rafael Leo on the stroke of half time. He gets a bit of space. He hits it as hard as he can with his right foot. And bang, he finds the bottom left corner of the net. What a goal. We could not have timed that any better. We are leading going into the second half. This game is ours to lose now. But we cannot count by Leverkusen out, man.
man. If you guys watch my main channel, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. We've got Rafael Leo on the ball once again. Enzo has picked it up. Camavinga. We're going to switch this over to Malo Gusto. He's found Nkunku. And Nkunku's going to find Leo. Leo, great first touch. Smash that near post. Oh, my God. We've got a cushion now. This is legitimately our game to lose. We are not Tottenham Hotspur and we are not going to bottle it. We played that ball around so nice until we found that opening. Rafael Leo, who else was it going to be? But Leverkusen have got a free kick. Since conceding, they've definitely been coming at us with everything they've got in their arsenal. And I don't really like it. You feel it's with the... Oh, my God. Days. That's a great effort from that distance. Rhys James is on the ball now. We're pushing forward on the right hand side. We've got Grimaldo chasing us, but we found Noni Madweke. Madweke can find Martinez. First time shot. That is game over. I do not care what Leverkusen have got to throw at us now. We are 4-0 up in their backyard. And that was actually Nkunku who scored that goal, not Martinez. I do take it back. Oh, no, B.I. Leverkusen are coming back with a vengeance, though. I'm telling you now, guys, we've definitely got to keep ourselves on our toes. I know I've just said we're clear, but that goal proves that we just aren't. We cannot write Leverkusen off just yet. All it takes is one more goal from them, and it is officially squeaky damn bum time. But Rafael Leo is coming forward. Ah, oh, that's great defending. Moreno's coming forward. He's got so much room. What has just happened to our defense? Oh, oh my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my days. How the hell we got away with that? I'll never know. They've got a free kick. Dangerous position. Florian Vierce is taking it. He's going to dink this into the box. We're going to try our best to clear it. Oh, my God. How are we not winning that header, man? Seriously. Wait, what? Wait. Hang on a minute. What the hell is this? Is that a penalty to them? What happened here? Rafael Leo did a young ball or something. Hang on a minute. What? So where was the handball exactly? Oh, ooh, Rafael Leo did handball it right there. Oh, nah, that actually is a penalty. Come on, our black. Top left bins. He's giving top left bins. Yeah, nah. And we've saved the... Ah! Beautiful stuff, Jan or Black. But Leverkusen still aren't giving up after we saved their penalty, man. He's dinked it into the nope. box. Pook. Oh, my days. It's such a good job Leverkusen can't finish their dinner. But we've done it. That is us knocking Leverkusen out two German giants in a row and we go to the semis. But there's no rest for the wicked. We're back in action against Manchester United at Old Trafford. We need to get all three points here, guys. The Premier League title's at stake. We've got a free kick here. Let's deliver this nicely into the box. That's a decent ball in, to be fair. Nope. That's a great head. Oh, that's not bad at all, to be fair, from the keeper. Got another chance here, Lautaro Martinez. I'm going to try and find that run from Liao. Can we find it? Yes, we can. There's nobody really with him up top that we're going to cut inside. Liao find Nkunku. Nkunku has found Enzo Martinez. Oh, can we get a goal? Yes, we can. Enzo Martinez. Why have I just called him that? It's Enzo Fernandez. I am actually a moron, aren't I? We've got Kamavinga coming forward now. Can we spot that run from Madweke? He's going to take this down. Oh, look at that for skill. We're going to come back inside. Martinez on his right foot. Travella that. That is a great save. Another chance for a counter-attack here. Noni Madweke has been spotted by Enzo Fernandez. We can make this 2-0 here. Go on, slot it straight past him. Oh, what is that, seriously? Robbed of a goal, man. We should be 2-0 bloody up, not 1-0. Rasmus Hoyland's on the ball. I can't catch him. We've got to hope that... Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> You fake Harlem wannabe. But that is full time. 1 0 win at Old Trafford. That is a massive three points in the bag. And look at the table now, guys. We're still three points clear in Manchester City. They are absolutely relentless, man. All it takes is one slip up, and we are basically done. But the UCL semis have been drawn. We are facing into Milan. Look at Arsenal as well. They're still in it playing Barcelona. Could you imagine if it was Arsenal versus ourselves in the final? That would be absolutely beautiful. Now we are up against Palace next. But these guys are a bit knackered. I feel like we're going to have to rotate the entire squad. So that's what I've done in the hopes it's not going to cost us 2-1. Madweke with both goals. He's come so good this year. We've got our best team out once again against Castle. A 1-0 victory. Rhys James with the winner. It's getting seriously tight at the end of this season now to pick up points. But whilst we're not dropping points, Manchester City aren't either. They really aren't doing us any sort of favours, man. We need to hope they at least get a draw or something. But our next game is Inter Milan. The first 
this leg of the semi-finals, we're at Stamford Bridge as well, so we actually do have the home advantage. And we've got the full strength starting 11, all fit, all healthy, all in form. So here's hoping, guys, we can actually take a lead this time. Let's see if the boys can deliver. It's a 1-0 victory, Lautaro Martinez against his former club in the 82nd mini. Oh my god, I never even give that a second thought. Lautaro Martinez was purchased from Inter Milan, and he's just helped us to beat them 1-0 in the first leg. Now, guys, we've got three games to go in the Prem, and just look at who we're facing. Liverpool at Anfield, then we're at home against West Ham United, and guys, look who we're playing last. Tottenham freaking Hotspur at their ground, man. So if it does come down to the wire, it means that we have to beat Tottenham Hotspur to win the Premier League title. That's just poetry at its finest. But as I've said, we are now at Anfield against Liverpool, and this has been so 50-50. Sometimes they beat us, sometimes we beat them, but this time we have to beat them. Got a free kick here, Malo Gusto to take it. That is a terrible ball in. What is that? And look at this, guys. We are really up against it now. Cody Gakpo is against Shadow Black. Oh, no, no, no. They've gone 1 0 up two minutes into the second half. Oh, man. With what's at stake, that just can't be happening. We have got to at least get a goal back, man. We cannot afford to drop all three points. We've got Camavinga on the outside of the box. Enzo Fernandez. Liao has been tackled. It's come back to Enzo, though. We've got the ball. We're going to try to take this win. Can come back. They're just all over us now. We can't get anything past them. We have got Madweke on the ball. Oh, he's going to take this all the way. He's going to take this all the way. Oh, no, what? What? No, no, this game has done that twice to me now. That's going to rob us of all three points, isn't it? Look at this. Gakpo's through now. He's fed in Luis Diaz. Oh, my days. No, get it out. Get it out. But it doesn't make a difference. We have been robbed of the three points. You can clock, man. You've definitely paid the refs off, you whining little crybaby. And look at that. One loss was all it took. They are level on points with us. Both of us have got 25 wins, six draws, and five losses. But we do have a better goal difference. So as long as we don't drop any more silly points, we should be okay and we should win the title. But as you can see, guys, we are against Inter Milan next in the second leg of the semis in the UCL. We are one nil up though, so we do have the advantage this time. But instead of playing Madweke, I'm actually going to play Chiesa in this game purely because he used to play in the Serie A, so I bet he knows Inter Milan inside and out. On top of that, we've got a former Inter Milan striker and Martinez, former AC Milan winger and Liao, and a centre-back in Tomori. Guys, we've legitimately raided the Serie A this time, haven't we? But here it is, guys. The moment of truth. Pochettino didn't get this far last year. Can we take Chelsea all the way to the UCL final? We have Rhys James coming forward with the ball. Now he's against Josko. Vardy, oh, Jesus, Inter Milan have done some really good signs. Case is on the ball now, and he lost it straight away. Come on, man. I put a lot of faith in you. We've got Rafael Leo coming forward. We know how good he's been this year. And Kunku's going to come inside. Rafael Leo, he's got a bit of space. We're going to hit this from distance. And that force is a fantastic save. And Kunku's been doing good deliveries as of late. Can we have another one here? That is not a good delivery though. And Kunku's received it on the right hand side. We're going to cross this ball in. Back post. Reese James is there. What a goal to start the game. Our 22 minutes in, we take a 2-0 lead on aggregate. Christopher and Kunku at the heart of the goal as well. What a delivery. What a camera angle. But what a header from our captain, Reese James. What a Freaking goal. Well, oh, here come into Milan early after conceding. Oh, look at that from De Ligt. What a better defending. Martinez is indeed coming forward. I'm trying to spot that run from Chiesa. He's found that looping ball. We're going to spot Lee. Oh, Chiesa, man. Really? Rhys James, the goal scorer. We're once again coming down this right-hand side. We're going to cut inside with Chiesa. Come on, lad. Show you. Oh, my days. Honestly, nothing he's doing is working, is he? I actually feel sorry for him at this point. Oh, no. Into Milan are coming forward. Oh, God. We've been saved by the bar. Ball's not clear yet. There it is. Turam with the equaliser to put us on our toes before we go into the second half. Great goal as well, to be fair. Malo Gusto just wasn't big enough to challenge Turam in the air. Uh, and there you go. Oh, Inter Milan are coming forward now. Di is coming forward. He's taking a shot. And that's gone in. No way. Early in the second half, Inter Milan have buried it 2-1 on the night. It is 2 all on aggregate. And we need to get a grip of ourselves. Guys, we had the advantage coming into this game. And we cannot bottle that lead, for goodness sake. We're not Tottenham Hotspur. But well, here come Inter Milan. They're after a third of the game. Thankfully, we do get the interception with Reese James. Inter Milan have really stepped their game up, man. They are absolutely dominating us now. And here they come again. Turin, what a block from the lit. 
I'm going to make a change, guys. I think Chiesa being in the starting 11 was a mistake. Madweke is coming on, guys. He's in a purple patch right now, so maybe he's going to make an impact from the bench. Malo Gusto is coming forward. Look at him go. He's got Bastoni chasing him, but he's way too fast for him. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Madweke, that's a great block. Got Gusto coming forward on the left-hand side again. We're going to try and spot anybody. Madweke, take that down. Oh, my God. He's doing everything right. He just can't get a bit of space to shoot. Milana coming forward on the left-hand side. Great bit of defending Reese James. Enzo, I'm spotting that run from Nkunku. What a through ball that is. And Nkunku can go all the way by himself as well to put us three. Oh, my God, we've done it. With five minutes to go, we go three to up on aggregate. That goal has potentially landed ourselves in the UCL final. What a through ball from Enzo, man. And Christopher and Nkunku, man, there's been three players that have really been the MVPs this year. Rafael Leo is one of them. Lautaro Martinez is the second, and Christopher Nkunku is the third. And with time running out, Inter Milan are going to get desperate, which means we could definitely hit them on the counter-attack like we're doing right now. No Nimad Wake is against Vardio, but we're going to go inside. And Kunku, turn his man. He's around him as well. We could get a fourth great save. This has surely got to be one of the last kicks of the game, man. It's got to be surely nearly over. Enzo Fernandez is picking this up. We're going to have a shot. It's blocked. Rhys James... Dink it back inside. Back post. Rafael Leo has got the third in this game. Completely dead and buried into Milan or out of the Champions League. And we are officially in the Champions League final. Look at that celebration, guys. Look at the Chelsea players. Look at the fans. This is what it's all been about from the beginning. We were absolutely relentless. Reese James, man. What a cross to the back post. Completely unmarked. Rafael Leo, harder to miss than it was to score. And it looks like we're playing Barca in the final, guys. They got the better of Arsenal in the semis. 2-1 it ended on aggregate. And they're who we've got to beat to become the best team in the world. But we've got to look at these stats for a sec. 32-9 for Rafael Leal. 30-19 from Kunku. And 24-4 and for Lautaro Martinez alone. I mean, if we do somehow only end up winning the Carabao Cup from the position we're in right now, it would be a travesty. Leo and Kunku and Martinez have put in such a shift this year. But guys, we're against West Ham in the Premier League. Tempting fate 3-0. And Kunku, Lautaro Martinez with a brace. Guys, we are one game away from potentially being the best team in England. But look at the table. Man City are still not dropping any goddamn points. It's actually ridiculous how good they are. But as you can see, we're playing Tottenham next. They're playing the Hammers, who we've just slapped 3-0. Out of the two teams, we're definitely more likely to drop points. We actually haven't beaten Pochettino yet this year, have we? But this is the team we're going into the game with. The most important game of the season by a country mile. I know we're in the Champions League final, but to me, this is so much more important because it's so personal with Poch. And speaking of Pochettino, Tino, he actually rang me the night before the game. For an assistant manager, you've done well, but I'm afraid I'm killing this fairy tale dead now. We've played twice and you've yet to beat me. You do not stand a chance against me. And I replied saying, Poch, your mission this year has been to stop me winning anything whilst mine has been to win everything. That's why I'm about to win the title and I'm in the UCL final, whilst the only thing you can hope to do is stop me winning the title. It's a shame it's come to this, Poch, but I'll see you out there, kiddo. Let me show you how it's done. But here we go, guys. Tottenham Hotspur versus Chelsea. See, the title is decided in London. It's all or nothing now, guys. We cannot lose to Pochettino again. But here they come forward. Kimmich is on the ball. That is a fantastic block from Gusto. And here they come again. Gusto is once again there. Oh, my God. Already, he is performing incredibly well. Here comes Rafael Leo on the ball. Can we spot that run from Lataro? Yes, we can. Rodon is the player who's up against. Lataro Martinez could put us 1-0 up here. Oh, my God, Vesario. You should not be saving that. We've got Noni Madweke on the ball. He's been incredible for us this season, to be fair to him. We can't quite hang on. What is that? Is that a penalty offside? Oh, that's a bloody offside, isn't it? We have gone Kunku on the ball. We're trying to find Leo. We've actually found him, but he's offside again. Why can't our players stay on side? We are so far absolutely... Absolutely dominating Tottenham, man. Great effort from bloody Enzo. Good save. But here comes the big Swede, Kulisevsky, on the right-hand side. is against Malo Gusto. And Gusto, man, what? Honestly, he is genuinely having...
having the game of his life. Fair play. We're going to find Rafael Leo through Gusto. We're going to cut inside. Jed Spence, man. Come on, you're nowhere near on Rafael Leo's level. But here comes Malo Gusto. Oh, my God. Gusto to put us 1-0 up. He takes the shot and he misses. Gusto, man. I know that you know an out-and-out striker, but even I could put that away. And I'm obese. We've genuinely been all over Tottenham, man. We just can't find that killer ball. But we may have just found it. Mad way he's on the ball. Oh, my God. That is actually genuinely world-class defending. I can't even critique that in any way, shape, or form. Madweke is on the ball once again. He's up against Nuno Mendes. We're getting caught inside. We found Martinez. Latoro Martinez to put us 1-0 up nope. just shy of off time. Vesario, man. You're actually doing my tree in. And Konku, an amazing delivery here. Could put us 1-0. Oh, my God. That's a beautiful ball. And we finally got the goal. Latoro Martinez. We brought him at the start of this season outside the transfer window. He arrived in January and he's been world-class ever since. And that goal could clinch us the title. What a first half, man. Utter domination from us. If we have another 45 like that, it's game over for Pochettino. But here comes Hoybie on the ball. He's trying to find Tammy Abraham, who's been absolutely silent in this game so far. Mendes is now on the ball against Reese James. Found Tammy Abraham in the box. I don't like this in the slight. He's great bit of defending, boys. Malo Gusto is coming forward. One of the best players in this game so far. He's just lost it, though. What are you playing at, Gusto? Here comes Tammy Abraham. He's absolutely knackered. The Spurs are coming forward. Very, very deadly, though. What a bit of defending. It's James on the ball here. Can we spot that run from Madweke? We are in behind. A chance for the second goal is very likely. If we get this right, he's just run into a brick wall. There's literally five minutes to go in this game to win the Premier League title and beat Pochettino to do it. That's such a satisfying end to the Premier League campaign. And here we come with Kamavinga. We are trying to find Leo. Leo has been found. He's against Rodon. We're going to cut inside. Oh, Rodon's put a tackle in, but I feel like that is enough. Ladies and gentlemen, the full-time whistle is officially gone. We have won the Premier League title with Chelsea and the icing on the cake as the former assistant manager, I have beaten Pochettino, the man who I replaced to do it. Pochettino got the better of us the entire season but when it counted as per usual he bottled what he wanted to do. I don't know why Nkunku is the captain. It should be Reese James but I don't care. Ladies and gents we have won the Premier League title with Chelsea. Beautiful! And whilst we will be celebrating whilst the players will be enjoying themselves our journey this season is not yet over. There's still one massive trophy we are trying to win. But before we get to that look at the league table ladies and gents we won by three points in the Man City drop points to West Ham so even if we had lost against the bottle jobs we'd have won it anyway I am beyond proud of this team ladies and gents we've won the Carabao Cup we've just beaten Poch to win the Premier League title now we can win the biggest trophy you can win at club level the UCL but before the final started Todd Bowling pulled me aside for a little chat Goodwin you know how big this game is not just for us but for the club don't let all of this season's hard work go to waste in the next 90 minutes. You've already won the title and the Carabao Cup. Go out there and finish the job. Win us the Champions League. Todd's right, guys. This game is absolutely massive. It's what we've worked all season to get to, and we cannot let it go to waste in the next 90 minutes. We've got to put a performance in. We've got Rafael Leo coming forward. He's literally surrounded by blue and red jerseys. But look at him go. He's done nope. this so many times. Oh, this time, he can't quite make it happen. Here come Barcelona with Rafinha on the right-hand side. De Ligt is standing in his way. He's got past him, though, with a couple of step-overs. Malo Gusto once again, man. Fair play to him. Such a good player. Latoro Martinez is on the ball. We're trying to feed Rafael Leo and he is through. Nobody's in his way apart from the goalkeeper. Can he put it away this time? Yes, he has! 25 minutes into the final. Rafael Leo with his patented solo goal style has put us 1-0 up. How many times have we seen him do this this season, man? He's taking everybody out with his power, strength and speed and his precision to put us 1-0 up. Here comes Leo once again. He's been tormenting him on this left-hand side. We're going to switch this over to Madweke. Enzo has brought it down. Oh, that's a beautiful... Oh, that is... Oh, that would have been so good if he'd have pulled that off. That was a tight angle. Maybe we should have squared it, but there was nobody really there, as you can see. Madweke is on the ball. Look at that play to Reese James. We are absolutely enjoying ourselves against Barcelona, man. Barca really started this game strong, but now we've just got complete control. Coming forward once again. Look at us go. Reese James has found in Kung 
Kunku, and Kunku is going to try and find Leo. Leo, can he make this 2-0? Oh, look at that. What a freaking goal. That passage of play was exquisite, and the finish was just as good. Just on the stroke of half time as well, and Kunku with a beautiful through ball. Rafael Leo with a great finish. We are now 45 minutes away from being the best team in the world. So here come Barcelona early in the second half, where the hell is our defence gone to? Rafinha is on the ball. We're trying to put a tackle in. Great start. Oh, no. We've just conceded, but that is offside. We've got away with that. Leon Goretzka's on the ball. He's found Ferran Torres. He's doing a load of step overs. Reese James is there. Great tackle. Here comes Rafael Leo on the ball once again. If he scores here, the game is dead. And Berry, can he finish the game? Oh, great save to Stegen. Enzo's got the ball on the edge of the box. Finesse shot that. Oh, my God. What a freaking goal from Enzo Fernandez, the World Cup winner. Has just put us 3-0 up in the UCL final. Barcelona, unless they pull off a miracle, are not getting back into this game. The ball just falls to him. The ball's still bouncing. He side foots that. Oh, my God. That is such a perfect. Gobble. Looking at Barcelona's team, ladies and gents, I thought this was going to be way more challenging, but bloody Barcelona are pulling up less of a fight than Tottenham Hotspur were, and that's saying something. Here comes Malo Gusto. He has really started to come into his own since he had the chance to play at left back. Look at him go. He's taken all the defence out. Can he take a shot? Oh my god, what a goal that would have been. Coming forward with Eduardo Camavinga. Look at the CDM go. He wants a bit of the action as well, and he might just get it. Oh my god. Barcelona have been ripped apart in the Champions League final with two minutes to go. We go 4-0 up. But to be honest, I consider this sweet, sweet revenge for that absolute BS rig stuff that happened all those years ago in the semi-finals. This is sweet revenge. And there it is. It is official. The full-time whistle has gone. Chelsea have become the best team in the world under my management. Guys, we've done it all. We've won the Carabao Cup. We didn't win the FA Cup, granted, but we won the Premier League title beating the bottle jobs to do it after having an insane rivalry with them all season without being able to beat them once until the very end of the season and we've just officially won the Champions League with Chelsea for the third time in their club history. Now I made sure this time that Rhys James was the captain so he better be lifting this trophy. Oh come on man, why isn't Kunku still the captain? But oh well it is done. Our job with Chelsea is done. I think that is a really nice way to wrap up this series. So after this, the Chelsea series is completely done and dusty. It's been amazing, guys. My first ever series. I truly hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed making it. But that means we are going to make a brand new series. So let me know in the comment section down below who you'd like to see me do this with next. And of course, if you did enjoy this video, leave a like on it. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. We are closing in on 5,000 subscribers as we speak. But guys, it has been your boy Good. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic Fantastic day and I'll see you in the next one.